So in this video, I want to look at the idea of enantiomers that are similar or identical. And I created this video for one purpose. Uh, uh, it's going to be the last question because uh, I want you to be able to spatially think. And, and, and this is the reason why you're, you're required to take these classes, you know, if you, if you want to go to medical school or pharma, uh, you know, pharmacy school or dental school, all this good stuff, because you need, you need to be able to think critically. Okay. So if I'm looking at these two molecules here, are these enantiomers that are similar or identical? Well, if I look on either end, my hydroxyl group stays the same. They're both coming out at me. However, my bromine group switches. Okay, so again, that's the definition of uh, diastemers. Okay, you, you need to know that because if you don't know the definition, then you actually don't know what the compounds are. Okay, uh, so for diastemers, you you need to know the definition. So these are uh, classical diastemers. Okay, these are diastemers. Okay. Now, what about this one? Well, if I'm looking at this, how many chiral centers do I see? I see two, right? Don't you? One here, one here, one here, one here. Okay. Now, if I take a look at this, I see that I have a CH3 that's going, you know, going out of the board. Uh, and I have one that's going away. So if I look at the same carbon, if I call this carbon one, uh, one is going out, one is one is going down, one is coming up. Okay. If I take a look at the second chiral carbon, one is going down, one is coming up. So notice that the chiral center is switched. Okay. So with both chiral centers are uh, cent uh, centers alternating, that's what we classify as an an, an enantiomers. Okay. My my both my chiral centers changed. Okay. So these are enantiomers. Okay, so that's what we classify as enantiomers. Uh, our chiral centers changed, okay? So they're alternated, okay? And another enantiomer of this compound would be, okay? Remember, there are two ways of joining an enantiomer. So another enantiomer of this compound would be to flip the molecule and keep my chiral centers the same, okay? So if I flip it sideways, if I flip it sideways, or if I take it and flip it sideways, then I have my CH3, it has to still be coming out at me. My chiral centers do not change if I want to get the enantiomer when I flip. Uh, so when I flip, my CH3 is, 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 is on this end, uh, and again, uh, my chiral center does not change, okay? So this, these two are enantiomers, okay? But another way of drawing an enantiomer of this compound will be uh, to flip the molecule and my chiral centers do not change, okay? So that's another enantiomer of the molecule. Now, what about this one? This is the one that uh, I essentially created a video for because uh, I want you to be able to, to see the pattern here, okay? I have this really huge molecule here and I'm looking at it and I'm saying, okay, well, are these enantiomers, diastereomers are identical? Well, so the first thing we look at is this carboxylic acid group here, right? Notice that they're on different sides, right? So you agree that it's on the right over here, it's on the left over here, which means that what? The molecule is actually flipped. Now, uh, we got to take a look at chiral centers, okay? So the molecule is flipped. We know the molecule is flipped. So let's take a look at our chiral centers. Here we have the chlorine that's going away. You have the amine group that's going up, uh, not going away, but coming out at you. The chlorine is coming out at you, and our hydroxyl group is going away. Okay. Over here, however, we have an amine group that is coming, uh, go, uh, you know, going away or pointing down. Our hydroxyl group is going up, and then our chlorine group here is is coming out. So notice the the difference between the two molecules. The chlorine switches. Okay. So the chlorine went from a wedge to a dash. The OH group went from a dash uh, to a wedge. The amine group went from a wedge to a dash. Okay. So remember we said that whenever we flip the molecule and our chiral centers change, these are identical. All right. These cannot be diastereomers because, okay, well, a diastereomer is, the rule says that, I have chiral centers that's alternated, but one has to stay the same. 
one has to stay the same okay so uh, a good diastemer would be okay well if i switch this hydroxy group to a wedge then this would be considered a diastemer okay but all our carcinogens changing we flip the molecule that's identical now why couldn't it be an antimer why couldn't these be an antimers well again remember it's the same thing i did here okay when I flip the molecule, my chiral centers stay the same. Those are enantiomers. If I flip the molecule and my chiral centers, all my chiral centers alternate, they're identical. Okay? And you could kind of picture it in your brain. Okay? You can kind of picture it, picture it in your brain. If you know, if if you have this amine group that's 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 going down at uh, going down, uh, when you rotate it. Right when you ro or coming up, right? I'm sorry about that. But when you rotate, think about just uh, ignore all the molecules. Just think about this group here. If I have it that's coming up at me, right? So and it's kind of hard to illustrate. But if I have the amine group that's coming up at me, right? If I rotate 180 degrees, then you can see it's pointing down. Okay, we haven't changed anything in the molecule, and we could do this for the amine group and all the other groups. It's the same thing. Okay.